One of the most recognizable, famous, and influential figures in the world is probably the Dalai Lama. This spiritual guru inspires all with his humility, his kindness, his wisdom, and his compassion. I had the good fortune to see him in his humble home in Dharamsala in the northern part of India in an interview that I would probably never forget. Your Holiness, thank you very much for receiving us here. It's a great honor and a great pleasure for us to be here. I mean, so many people want to come and see you. And uh, I saw the ceremony yesterday and it was very uh, moving. But just out of curiosity, how do you feel about people coming from all over the world wanting to see you and hear you speak? Mm. My basic what's it, uh, belief is we are the same human being. Over six billion human beings, we are the same. Differences in the religious field, or differences of nationality, or races, or social background, some are educated, some are uneducated, some are poor, some are rich. These are secondary, not important. Important is we are the same human being. You have two eyes, one nose, <laughs> me too. And according to the scientist, the brain is concerned, all six million human beings, exactly the same, no differences. Due to color or due to races, no differences. So that, uh, therefore, whenever I go or meet people, I always look on that level. No differences, no barrier. Of course, language barrier there. Uh, these are on secondary level. So therefore, whoever uh, comes uh, come to see me, I just feel, oh, another human being come. I'm a human being. But the reality with this six billion mm. of us human beings who are supposed to be the same, we're yes. supposed to love each other. And yes. yet, we see the opposite. Mm. We see conflicts, especially yeah. huh. because of religions. We see more people mm. getting polarized over religious issues, for example. W what are your views on religion? That's exactly. We too much emphasis importance of secondary differences, forgetting the basic level. That's a problem. Yes, we have different religion, different nationality, different political system or economy system. These are secondary. If when we have some sort of conflict in this level, then we must remember we are same human being. Then these problems can solve human way, a peaceful way. But do you think people are getting more um, harmonious in terms of religions, mm. or are they actually having more conflicts because of religions these days? It is really unfortunate in human history. Uh, I think more than a thousand years. A uh, number of conflict uh, happen due to uh, different religious faith. Uh, I think the real cause of this conflict I think not religion, but power, money, or personal sort of what's the differences. And then manipulate name of religion. Once name of religion involved, the religious faith very much related with emotion. So once we touch human emotion, then you can we can manipulate more effectively. But what is your definition of happiness then? That is I think satisfaction, satisfaction. In order to gain genuine satisfaction, your life should be meaningful. Your very existence is something useful, something meaningful. Uh, then, you see, you get the feeling, oh, my life, uh, some, something uh, useful. Here, meaningful means there's some benefit. But that from president or from king or queen up to beggar, same, same desire. 
and the same right. Everyone have that right. Be happy life, successful life. So in any way, you see, once you dedicate your whole life, benefit for others, then daily life, sometimes even some difficulty, some challenge, the challenge really uh, I said, it creates I said, uh, a situation that uh, your life something useful. Are you yourself happy? Do you feel happy? I think... I've, I've read I, your I, books on happiness, I, but do you yourself... I, I feel quite happy. I feel I'm a kind of person who have a little I said, inner peace. So, but I think uh, for this question, I think exact answer, I think we should wait another few more years. And then technology may develop some instrument <laughs> to examine the amount of the peace of others' mind. <laughs> Otherwise, it's difficult to measure. <laughs> The 12-hour journey on a new toll road is fortunately without mishap. The highlight to be encountering marijuana plants growing along the sides of the highway.